teach a man to fish here. Today's video is going to be smoked meat and a cast iron skillet. I'll be stuffing it with some goodies inside that'll add just that extra touch. Here's the ingredients that you're going to need. I've got about six pounds of meatloaf, cast iron skillet, black pepper, kosher salt, and I like Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. Uh, adds a lot and cuts out a lot of the hassle of putting other seasonings together. That adds a lot of flavor. Uh, I like a strong cheddar, so sharp cheddar, mushrooms, Vidalia onions, two eggs, and I've got some pathetic looking little green peppers there. It was a tough green pepper year in the garden, but that's what I've got, so it'll add a little bit of extra kick to the meatloaf. Let's get those onions and mushrooms cut up. Black pepper. Take a portion of your onions and I set a little bit aside for the stuffing. Same thing with the mushrooms. Green peppers. Greek seasoning. A little bit of salt, not much because that Cavender's has a saltiness to it already. And then I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, garlic, crushed garlic. For the binder, use whichever you like. I like a little bit of oatmeal. Two eggs. And we get that mixed together. So now you take that meatloaf, you form it into the ring around the pan. Take the bowl, place it into the center. Again, get it to form fit to the pan, and then create a trench around the whole ring. This will be the trench that you end up putting in whatever your favorite stuffing is. I contemplated using jalapeno for this recipe, but instead went a little bit mild just with the onion, mushroom, and cheddar cheese. So now that we have that trench formed, you fill that with your stuffing. Now picture these mushrooms when they do start to cook, that liquid will drop out and into your meatloaf. So good. Just a little bit of onion. And we'll get the cheddar cheese shredded and into that trench as well. Now we just fold that trench over, close it up. Again, keeping that bowl pressed down in the center and you'll see what that bowl is good for later. What we end up using that for. There it is, ring meatloaf, ready to go in the smoker. One of the things that I like to do is give the pan a little bit of a head start so I'm not struggling to heat that pan up. So I add a little bit of heat through the side burner in this Oklahoma Joe three in one. It's actually a pretty nice smoker. It's got the offset, the grill. There's a review, I've got another, I've got a couple of videos on how to use this thing. So I just add a little bit of heat to get that pan started. I run the smoker a little bit hot. I'm expecting about an hour to 
maybe an hour and a half cook on this. So I like to keep it up around 300 plus. Uh, again, it's an offset smoker. Loaded up, all of that smoke is, is coming out thin and blue. There it is, set up in the smoker. We'll keep an eye on it over the next hour and a half or so. And our objective is about 160, 165 degrees. See you in a little bit. Let's do a spot check. Looking pretty good, I think. You can suction off some of those juices. Now that it's set, I can pull this out and just get those juices out. There it is, we're starting to hit the 160. Believe it or not, there is no ketchup, no barbecue sauce, no anything on that. That is the red of the smoked flavor. It's gonna have a smoke ring and everything. This is gonna be so good. I'm excited. We'll let this rest for a bit. Just came off the grill. Let the rest happen. This smells amazing. There it is, all plated up. Simple meal. Smoked meatloaf. Look at that smoke ring. You can see it formed up there. That cheese oozing out through the edge. So much goodness. Teach a Man to Fish channel. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe and share with others. Today's video is smoked meat with some cheese and some mushroom and onion. Teach a Man to Fish here. Today's video is going to be smoked meat and a cast iron skillet. Smoked meat, no. Smoked meatloaf, smoked meatloaf, smoked meatloaf. There it is. Ring moat meat. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, hang on a second.